We just purchased a new family iMac, and in this video, I'm going to explain the must-have Mac apps that I install on every new computer. Now, without question, the first app I have to install is 1Password. 1Password is the password manager where I store all the login details for the other apps and services that I'm going to install, so I have to get this one downloaded first. Now, it's 2025. If you don't have a password manager, whether it's 1Password or even just the built-in free password manager that comes on the Mac, then you really are opening yourself up to unnecessary risk. Now, when most people have their accounts hacked or compromised, it's usually because they are reusing the same password or same couple of passwords across all their services. In 1Password, they make it super easy to create strong, unique passwords for all the different apps and services that you use. It actually makes logging into your accounts quicker because 1Password also supports two-factor authentication codes and even pass keys. Click my related video to here to watch a full tutorial on how to get started with 1Password on the Mac. Now on my work Mac, the next app I have to download is Raycast. Now you may be familiar with Spotlight on the Mac. Raycast is a more powerful version of that. It allows you to search for things like files and contacts on your Mac, but it's also extremely customizable so you can search for things like a YouTube video. I use the built-in clipboard history dozens, if not hundreds of times a day to find email addresses, links, and text that I've copied to my clipboard. I can quickly start and join my next Zoom meeting directly from Raycast, and you can start a chat with an AI like ChatGPT directly on your Mac. Raycast is one of those apps that can take you from being a basic everyday Mac user to being a true Mac power user. Check out my related video to learn more about how to get started with Raycast on the Mac. Next up, we have Text Expander. This is an app that allows me to store things like email templates, affiliate links, Calendly booking links, basically any text that I might want to quickly type, and it works anywhere on my Mac. I use this every day for things like writing emails. I can type an abbreviation, and Text Expander expands the text that I've saved, so this makes writing emails and sharing links extremely quick and easy. Text Expander has saved me literally thousands of hours in the last decade by not having to type text. If you want to learn more about getting started with Text Expander, check out my getting started video up here. Next on my list, we have Fantastical. Now, I used to be a longtime user of the built in Apple Calendar. Fantastical is a supercharged version of Apple Calendar. Firstly, it has this great calendar sets feature so I can view the calendars of each person on my team without their calendars cluttering up my main calendar. It also has great time zone support, a native Zoom integration for adding Zoom links to your meetings, and creating new events using the natural language input is really quick and easy. It works on the Mac, iPhone, iPad, everything's in sync, I love it, way better than Apple Calendar. If you want to give it a go, check out my getting started video up here. Next up, we have MimeStream. Now, MimeStream is an email client that works on the Mac specifically for Gmail users. This is an incredibly underrated app, in my opinion. It has all the beautiful design and ease of use of Apple Mail, which by the way, I still use for my personal email, but MimeStream works specifically for Gmail users. It allows me to manage all of my Gmail labels, update mail filters, turn on my autoresponder. It even has this useful feature where you can sync multiple accounts and quickly switch between them. I love MimeStream and more Gmail users need to know about this because it's way nicer using MimeStream compared to working in Gmail on the web. Check out my getting started video up here. Okay, we're nearly there. Next up, we have a really handy little menu bar app called CleanShot. This is similar to apps like Loom. CleanShot lets you take screenshots of your Mac and record video. I use this every day for recording a quick video of me showing how to do something in Asana or Pipedrive that I can then share with a link with one of our clients. It's designed specifically for the Mac, runs really well, gets regular updates. I love it. Check out my getting started video up here. And last, but by no means least, we have Clean My Mac, which I still need to install on this Mac, especially because this is gonna be a computer that kids are gonna be using. Clean My Mac is a great app that helps you to keep your Mac running smoothly. So if you've just purchased a new Mac, you really wanna look after it. Clean My Mac can identify junk files that you can delete to free up storage. 
You can run maintenance tools to speed up and boost the performance of your Mac. It can even identify viruses, malware, and perform app updates. It's an app that I use and run every week or two to keep my Mac running smoothly and performing well. So those are my must-have Mac apps. If I missed a really good one, leave me a comment down below. Or if there was an app in this video that you really like the look of, give the video a like. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.